Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello, welcome to video four. What is array? The Git node. Let's go ahead and cover the Git node and see why and when we might want to use it. First of all, to get to the Git node, you can right click and type in Git. It'll be under Utilities Array, and it's going to return back the generic wildcard version. The first time you plug in an array into the input, it's going to change the output to the matching type. So that's something to keep in mind. For example, we're going to go ahead and use this hooked up to our int array. The purpose of the git node is basically to return back the item at that index value. If you put in an int array, it's going to return back the value of the int at the index I give it. If I give it a string array, it's going to give me back a string. If I give it back an object array, it's going to give me back the object. It's pretty simple. We have the input, which is our array, and then the index value. Keep in mind, arrays are zero based. So in this case, I have a one, five, and nine for my values with the index of zero, one, and two. So if I go ahead and print out whatever I get back at index zero, we should get back a value of one. We're getting back a value of one because, let me change this quickly. Our first index, zero, has a value of one. If we change this to, let's say, index of two and hit play, we're going to get back nine because at index two, our third value, we have nine. Now, what happens if we put back an invalid index? Let me go ahead and run this. Well, you're going to get back zero. You're going to get back technically an error. There is no valid index, so therefore it's going to return back zero, which is not a valid index. This is something you need to keep in mind. If you're running into errors and you're not getting back what you expected, make sure your index array is within bounds. Make sure you're looking for a valid value within that index. So that is something to keep in mind. A use for this, for example, I'm using it just to simply get back numbers, but maybe you have an array of enemies. Or actually, here's a better one. Let's say you have an array of your exit points. These are the places where your monsters can validly exit your level while your player is chasing them down. Now, after they spawn, you need an exit point. Well, you can get a random value. Like, for example, we could do random int in range and then we could go from zero to the length of our array so in this case we know it's a two return back that value and then we're going to go ahead and get something back so this is going to give me between zero and two which is the length of here now i'm using zero and two fixed and not using the length node because we're not covering the length node that is a separate video for our example i'm saying we have three of them so get me one of the random three and return it back. Now, if this was a list of exit points, we would now get a valid exit point and we could give that exit point to our enemy and our enemy would know where to run to at random. So that's our Git node in a nutshell. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them below.